feedback system in blood clotting. Blood clotting is an example of a positive feedback loop. Positive feedback involves a response that reinforces the change detected. It occurs when a change in one direction is followed by another change in the same direction. The following are the steps involved in the process of blood clotting also known as coagulation. Injury occurs when you get a cut or tear. Blood vessels are damaged, causing bleeding to start. The damaged blood vessels narrow, vasoconstriction, to reduce blood flow to the area, helping to minimize blood loss. Platelets tiny cell fragments in the blood, rush to the site of the injury and become activated. Initial platelets are activated by chemicals released from the injured cells and by contact with broken collagen. Bound platelets release chemicals that activate and attract other platelets. Platelets move towards source of chemical signals and bind. Platelet plug grows in size. The activated platelets stick to the damaged blood vessel walls and to each other, forming a temporary plug that seals the wound. Clotting factors, proteins in the blood, are activated by the injured tissue and platelets. The activated clotting factors trigger a cascade of reactions that ultimately convert fibrinogen, a soluble protein in the blood, into fibrin an insoluble protein, which forms a mesh-like structure over the platelet plug. The fibrin mesh strengthens the platelet plug creating a stable blood clot that prevents further bleeding. Fibrin strands secure platelets and erythrocytes effectively plugging the break. Over time, the clot retracts and tightens, pulling the edges of the wound together. This helps facilitate tissue repair and healing. Once the wound has healed, the clot is broken down by enzymes in a process called fibrinolysis, allowing blood flow to return to normal. If you consider this video lesson useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and don't forget to share this to your friends. Thank you for watching.